Hey guys, it's Shorzo here, and I'm really excited to show you what I've just built. And I don't think I've seen anyone do this yet. I've basically created a structure where you don't need an airlock. And of course, this is a breathable planet. And it's annoying that you have to have an airlock on all the prefabs, even on a breathable planet. So I've used storage boxes to make a wall, and I've also done a roof, and I'm gonna show you how I did all this in this video. So I just wanna make it clear, I've not used any mods, and I'm quite early in the game, so this just shows that you can create something really unique with not a lot of resources. So the same as my last Starfield video, I'm in the Cheyenne solar system, and I'm on a planet called Kodos, I think that's how you pronounce it. And yeah, this one's right next to the big city. I've got a nice circle of iron here, and I've marked the middle with the outpost beacon. So this is quite simple to do actually. You just do a line of storage boxes and then you kind of put one on top of the other. I'm doing about three stories high because I want high ceilings but I don't want them too high. And you want to fill them up all the way to the top and then you can prop them up just to save some boxes. And then you can actually delete the ones in the middle and it keeps it high. It ma makes like a foundation underneath. I'm going to do the back wall now and it's quite tricky to do. You need a bit of patience to do this. So you're going to line up the storage boxes along the existing wall that I've just built and you need to start building across and get it as close as possible. So as you can see I need to move it back quite a bit just to match that position that the other wall's in. That's close but it needs to go forward a little bit more. Just a touch. Let's see how this gets on. Yeah that looks promising. Let's check the gap. There's still a tiny gap. I'm still not satisfied. So let's, um, let's break it all back down again and we'll put it to the right the tiniest bit. Hopefully this puts it very tight up there. That's a bit too close. Right, let's move it to the left just a tiny bit. You're probably screaming at the TV right now. <laughs> right, this should do it. There we go. That's close as we're going to get it. We'll move that out of the way. And yeah, we can um, start building the back wall now. And doing the same thing basically what we did with the first wall. And we'll delete those on the edge. And the reason why the right hand side I do three boxes and then I kind of just prop up the rest of them. That's just to save resources. Because otherwise you're putting down too many boxes that you don't need. But I know they're going to be deleted so it doesn't matter too much. So if you watched my last Starfield video you would know I was a bit disappointed that you can't place your own individual walls, roofs and floors. So this is just the way to be a bit creative. And yeah I do think this opens the doors to a lot of creativity and hopefully this gives you guys some ideas. But I am still hopeful that they will probably add some walls and floors and stuff that we can place down. But to be honest with you I'm actually having a lot of fun building it like this. Because the base is literally made out of storage. I'm going to have so much iron it's going to be ridiculous. Yeah, so finishing up on that last wall, it's coming along very nicely. And you guys are wondering, how the hell am I going to put a rooftop on? So this is a little bit of a glitch that most of you would probably know. And I'll just showcase it now quickly. Just get yourself a prefab and one of those hallway things. And if you delete the prefab, they actually float. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and line up a prefab and build these hallways across to try and make a roof. Listen, this was very, very difficult to do and it might take you a lot of tries. But if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm kind of um, lining up where I think the hallway is going to go and I kind of back it off to keep it straight. But as you can see, it's a little bit too high. So I'm going to put the prefab down a bit. Yeah, it's just a lot of building, seeing what's wrong and then adjusting. You might have to do this a lot of times. It's quite a tricky one to do, but hopefully this works. Oh no, I need to put it right a tiny bit. This should do it now. And I'm, I'm actually quite happy that you can actually see where it used to be. So it keeps that height position where I want it. This should fit now. Oh no, it needs to go back a bit. You see what I mean? It's quite, it's quite tedious. But this should do it for this side now. Obviously, I'm not going to do this row by row. You get the idea after this, but this one should fit. There we go. It's right up on there now. We'll check for any gaps. No, there's no gaps whatsoever. That's a solid rooftop there. And now we've just got to build it all the way along. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to move on to the next row. And that yellow holographic prefab where the position used to be is actually quite important to know. Because if you want the second row to be the same height as the first row, 
Moving your prefab to the right, you wanna to keep to that same height using that old holographic position. I hope that makes sense. And yeah, building this one up, you can see that it matches the height perfectly. So if we just take away these back ones here. And yeah, we'll just speed up the build because you guys get the idea now. Now that's finished, I can delete that prefab now. And yeah, look at that. I've now got a rooftop and there's no gaps whatsoever there. It does rain on this planet sometimes, so I was quite curious to see if it keeps it dry underneath. And yeah, I can confirm it does. Finally, I'm going to do the front door now. And these hallways I'm putting down are going to be part of the entrance. That's why they're there. And they do light up at night as well, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to get another storage box and I'm going to line it up as usual. But I'm not going to do two boxes either side of the entrance. I'm just going to do the one because as you can see, it fits that gap nicely. It needs to be pushed forward a bit, so let's push it forward a little bit. And here's just a little tip. If you find the snapping on other storage boxes annoying, the, a little trick to do is to just keep pressing back until it actually fixes onto what you want to build it on. So the same thing I did with the previous walls, it's just a single wall this time. And yeah, I'm going to do the other side quick. I am aware that there are two gaps on the top there. I will sort that out when I decorate it, so yeah, I'll show you more of that in the tour. So that's the build pretty much finished now. Hopefully this has given some of you guys some inspiration to maybe build something even better than this. I'm now going to go ahead and cram as many decorations as I can on this place. But before I give you a tour, make sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying the video so far. And I'm very close to that 1000 subscriber mark, so come on guys, let's try and push through to that massive milestone. I'm always reading your comments and I do appreciate all your support. Right, enough yabbling on, it's time for the tour. So you've made it to the tour, welcome. As you can see, it's a little bit glitchy. I don't know what that flickering is, but it does stop when you get closer to it. But before we go inside, I'm just gonna do a little walk around on the outside. I've got four of these mines either side. And as you're aware, it's iron that I can collect from them. And I've put these metal tubs outside and I've put actual iron in there just to make it look a bit more immersive. I'm using solar panels for the main power. And I have to say, this is a beautiful planet. Quite similar to Montara Luna in my last Starfield video. The gravity is quite similar as well. And of course you can breathe on here. Hence why I have an open base. Yeah, nothing else much. I might build more on the outside. I've still got uh, some budget left. I've used about three quarters of the budget actually. So yeah, quite a lot. But you guys want to see the inside, so let's move on. Got a couple of chairs here just to chill and look at the scenery. I've got a turret because you do get enemies, but they're not hard enemies. I think they're like level 10s and they're like big bugs. So this is basically a mining facility. You usually have a team of three here, sometimes two. And I have to say, I do love the decorations on this game. There's so many different variants that you can place down. And moving on the inside, as you can see, I have crown packed this place with so many decorations. And I've like separated two different rooms with like these shelves that I've propped up. And it's the perfect height as well. So yeah, you can be quite creative with furniture. You can make like your own makeshift rooms inside a box like this. Maybe in the next video I'll do another one and like make an upstairs area. But using a lot of furniture, it takes up a lot of resources. So maybe later on. So I've got different types of workbenches in here. There's a chill out area here. As you can see, I've played some cards last night. I had a few too many. This is um, a weapons workbench and like an industrial workbench. Some bits and pieces on the side here. And you can actually, um, so if you like collect like a load of mugs and plates that you find on other planets, you can actually drop them and just put them on the side in your base just to make it look a bit more livable. And that's what I've done here. I didn't want to clutter it too much, but I've put a few odd bits and pieces everywhere. Got a sink here with some towels. This is like the team desk. Around here is another chair with like a little table, little helmet display. Some more work benches. I've actually got a toilet around here as well. Don't know if you can see that. I couldn't really put a sink on this wall because you can't actually place anything on these storage box walls which is the only downside to it really so if you want to put decorations on a wall you kind of have to like 
maybe put one of these walls here or prop up some shelves all the way up if you want to put some lights up but I've put these tripod lights on various positions because it does give it a good vibe at night with like different areas lit up got my mission board and I think this is like a bounty hunter board as well so this is like the proper living quarters he's having his lunch now got some bowls down some pans but there's not a proper cooker in this facility they've only got like a portable cooker because obviously there's not any proper plumbing for a base like this got a weapons crate as well that's a display armor case as well got a weapons rack and yeah this is the bedroom got a little PC as well I thought I'd put bunk beds as well just to fill the space a bit better and yeah the floor is a bit of a downside it's a bit rocky but I've put these rugs down so it's given it a bit of texture actually I don't know what this flickering is it is quite annoying I think it's to do with the sunlight and it's kind of glitching with it a little bit but yeah that's the tour guys as always thank you very much for watching this video there's going to be plenty more Starfield and Fallout builds to come I do occasionally like to play some survival shooter games. I've got a stalker video coming out next weekend, so enjoy that one. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.